Good morning, YouTube. Tony Suzuki, Birdman Channel. 10.20 a.m. What's the day? I don't forgot the date. <laughs> but anyway, it's early in the morning. Again, 10.20 a.m. Talking about this heat wave. West Coast and the East Coast. And as of yesterday, from the news, PG County, Maryland was told that they would be in a heat wave with no water. Can you imagine that? Heat wave and no water. Thank God it's not in our area of PG County, Maryland. It's on the other side of PG County, Maryland. I really feel sorry for those people that would not have any water for three to five days. And yes, I mean three to five days. Crazy, isn't it? Gotta watch out for this tractor trailer. Very crazy. It's going to be some stinky people. For the next three to five days and that really feels bad for the people that have medical issues where they need water and come to find out a lot of stores were sold out of water yesterday I have to check my camera in the rear i really really pray for those people without water drinking water at that that's what's needed during these hot days extremely hot days they're calling for temperatures up in the upper 90s 98 feeling 100 and i'm just happy that it didn't reach our area you know what's happening is, i'm talking about the water outage What's going on is they ha they said they have to replace a, a water pipe, a major water pipe. And that's in another part of PG County, Maryland that's affecting a lot of PG County, Maryland res residents. But yesterday I got in the pool. It was so hot that I decided to get in the pool with my two nieces, great nieces. Anaya, who is four, I think she's 24. Chase, who is two, I think she's 22. <laughs> but I had fun. I'm getting used to the water now, more used to the water. And I didn't get in the water last year at all, in the pool last year at all, but I got in yesterday and I was excited that I did better than I did a couple years ago. Yes, with my life jacket on. Yes, yes, with my life jacket. I'm not ready to come out the left jacket yet. And I don't know when I'll be ready. I guess my two great nieces will beat me <laughs> learning how to swim. But I think everyone who has a pool, I can get to a pool with this hot weather, heat wave, hot weather, take advantage of getting in that pool water. Even if you can't swim. I can't swim when I get in. But I pray that 
everyone that's affected by this heat wave and the water outage come through. Ooh, what was that? Big hole in the street on a speed bump. Come through safely. And um, please check on the elderly and sick. Please check on the elderly and sick and the disabled. I'm disabled too and you know, I will still check on people that's not as fortunate as I am being a dis disabled human being. Where we go to Staples. Um, the light is green. Come on. Thank you very much. Get ready to go to Staples and pick up something for me and my mom. Ooh. These streets are awful. Very awful. And um, yesterday I unhooked my ground and my wires for my radio to charge my battery in my bike because it seemed like it is acting silly when it's starting. I mean, this is a brand new battery. It hasn't been a year since I had it. I got the battery supposed to. They have supposed to replace it with a new battery in September of last year. I pray that they did. I hope they did just, just didn't charge it up and but charge me for a battery. <laughs> but I went on and put the battery tender on it yesterday while I was swimming in the pool. I think I charged it for like about four hours, I believe. And this way. I don't like that big bump right there. I've been already been through these bumps. Look at this little this little car. That is tiny. <laughs> I know that's good on gas. So you two I will check you out next time. And hopefully I'll get some more rides in before the weekend. Ride safe. Respect all bikers. And I mean do respect all bikers. Much love, peace, and happiness. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll... We'll sub you back.